Hello. This video shows how to select and delineate a cortical bone volume of interest from the mouse femur. The same method could also be applied to the mouse tibia or the rat femur or, ti or tibia. We begin by identifying a reference level at the growth plate. How to do this is shown in the other video about delineation of a trabecular region of interest, so I won't repeat it here. Here is the reference level where the cartilage forms a bridge between two corners of the cross section, shown by this black low density seam here. This is slice number 70. Now, as in the case of the trabecular bone, we mark this slice as a reference level by right clicking on it and selecting selection reference. However, the difference here is that we have entered different values for the offset and the height. If I invert the image, it makes it a bit easier to see. But the red line is our reference level, and the clear region is the region vertical extent of the region of interest. Once again, if we right click and go to selection, we get the same selection window, and this time the offset values and height are set to 250 and 100. This means that the distance between the reference level, the red line here, and the bottom of the region of interest is 250 slices, and the width of this clear region, the selected region, is 100 slices. I should just point out briefly that occasionally you may scan a bone which is the other way round, in which case the growth plate is at the top and the analysed region down here. In this case, you need to enter a negative value for the offset. So, having determined our vertical range, we then travel to the bottom of that selected range and proceed to delineate a region of interest for the cortical bone. So we move to the Region of Interest page of CT Analyzer. Now what we want to do here is to make a hollow region of interest which excludes most of the trabecular bone in the center. So we do it like this. We can draw a region of interest, something similar to a horseshoe which overlaps on itself and then travels outside the cortical bone and it's usually sufficient to do this at the top and the bottom slices of the selected range only. We will not exclude 100% of the trabecular bone by doing this, but we will exclude most of it. Having delineated these two shapes, we click on the spacebar to animate between them and to check that our region of interest is acceptable. Once again we're mostly concerned to make sure that it is not biting off any parts of the cortical bone. Once the volume of interest has been checked we can save it as before clicking on the second ROI button Save ROI. This time we will name it CORT Cortical. This means that if I delete a region of interest and if I reset the vertical range I can call back the region of interest by clicking load ROI and it re restores both the vertical range and the edited shapes. And also importantly as in the case of trabecular bone we finish by making the cortical bone volume of interest data set. We do that by clicking on this third button, save new data set from ROI. New folder, enter the file name and save. It's very important to do the analysis from these reduced size VOI data sets which makes analysis much more straightforward because of the smaller volume of the data set. 
I click open, here is the ROI data set of the cortical bone. And to restore the ROI itself, go to the ROI page and open a new version of the ROI file created within the ROI dataset. Thank you.